All right, so today we're going to be adding a dynamic can wrap to our uh, main menu scene here, or I guess our main game scene here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create what's called the canvas layer node, and I'm going to parent all of my UI elements to the canvas layer node. The canvas layer node exists to keep the UI in one place when there's a camera in the scene. So if you were using like a platformer and you wanted to have your, your hearts or your life meter or whatever continue to stay in one spot on the screen, if you weren't using a canvas layer node, it would be an actual object in the scene that moved independent of the player. Uh, in this case, we're going to want our scene to reorganize itself, or at least our UI and everything to move down and left if the board is smaller than its max size and down and left and down left, um, depending on the exact size of the board. And that's what we're going to be making today. So first thing I'm going to do is on my game window, I'm going to add a new child node. And that is a canvas layer node. And the canvas layer node, I'm going to drag all the way up here. And I'm going to make it a child at the very beginning. And I'm going to take these three UI nodes and make them children of the canvas layer. Now, one thing you have to be careful with the canvas layer here is even though I have it up above everything. Hey there. Do you need help? OK. Take a seat. We'll go over it. No, that's fine. No worries. OK, sorry about that. So uh, if we just play our game right now, there's something you're going to notice that even though the canvas layer is above everything, which means it should be drawn below everything, we don't see anything in our scene anymore. And that's because the canvas layer, in general, is always going to render itself on top of everything. But in our case, we want it below. So. We're going to go to our canvas layer and then the inspector. And in the inspectors, we're going to set our layer to negative 1. Now if we hit play, we should see everything appear on top of the canvas layer. And there we go. Now why this is important is because right now, what I'm going to do right now is add a camera to the scene. And that camera is going to move. And as the camera moves, the canvas layer will move with it. And everything will look like it hasn't moved. It'll, it'll look like everything's centered instead of everything being down to the bottom left here. So um, with our game window selected, we're going to add a new camera 2D. And I don't think it matters where this is placed, but I'm still going to put it up here near the canvas layer. Now on the camera 2D, I'm going to set it as our current camera. And you can see that there's this blue box that's being drawn now. Now since we have a current camera in the scene, this is what our scene is going to be displaying. But even though, as you can see right now, only about a quarter of our UI should be showing. If I hit play, the whole UI is going to show. And that's because we're using a canvas layer node. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the camera 2D's position dynamically through script based on the size of the grid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my grid script. And the grid is going to send a signal to the camera 2D node to tell it uh, what size it should be. So in our grid script here, uh, I'm going to make, this is probably going to go, yeah, we'll put this down here. We'll call it camera stuff. And then we'll make a signal, which we'll call place camera. And then in our ready function, actually, before I do anything else, I'm going to put the camera in the right spot. So I'm going to call this function place camera. Actually, let's not call it the same as a signal. We'll call it move camera. And this is going to generate a vector 2 where the camera should go. We're going to use our grid to pixel. So we're going to find out where the camera should be in grid space, and then we're going to move it there in pixel space. So we're going to say uh, var new position is equal to vector 2. And we want to do um, grid to pixel. And for grid to pixel, we want to do the column and the row. So the column is not going to work quite right right now. The column I'm going to put it in is going to be width divided by 2. And the row I'm going to put it in is going to be uh, height divided by 2. And I'll explain why that's not going to work here. Um, but yeah, and then we're going to emit signal 
place camera and we're going to place camera at the new position. Get rid of that pass statement down here. And then I'm going to go to my camera 2D node. I'm going to add a new script to this. So my new script, uh, new script, and this is going to go in my scripts folder. So up one level, script, we'll call this camera 2D. Sure, that's fine. And we'll create that. Now we want to pass that signal from the grid to the camera. So with my grid selected, I'm going to find my place camera signal that I just made, which is right here. I'm going to connect that to the camera 2D node. Uh, and then in here, uh, I'm going to make a little function to move the camera to where it's supposed to be. So function move camera, and then I'll call that from my signal. So the camera property that I'm going to be modifying is the offset. And so right here, and the property is just lowercase o offset. So I'm going to say move camera is going to require an argument, which is going to be, we'll call it placement. And we're going to say offset is equal to placement. And then on grid place camera is going to take placement as well. And then we'll call move camera and send in that placement variable again. So move camera placement. So we'll save that. Um, we'll go out of here. And one thing I forgot to do is to call that move camera function from inside the ready function for the grid. So state is move and we'll do move camera. All right, cool. So let's hit play and let's see why this doesn't work quite like we want it to. So if you see, uh, it's a little bit, the camera itself is a little bit too far left and it's a little bit too far down. We want it up and to the right a bit. Well, we want the camera more down and more left. So I guess it's too far right. Yeah, it's too far right. So uh, what I'm going to do is just simply take my width divided by 2 minus 1 and then my height divided by 2 minus 1. I'm going to save that. And it knows the order of operations, so it's not going to divide it by 1. It's going to divide it by 2 and then subtract 1. So let's hit play. Nope, oh, nope, that's too far. So I guess I need to subtract 0 0.5. I knew I did something weird for this when I was testing it out. All right, let's try it now. OK, so that looks, yeah, that looks good. Um, all right, cool. So now we've got a dynamic camera. So the we still have kind of a, an upper bounds on how big we can make our board. We can't just make like a 64 by 64 board. The camera won't zoom out to fix that. Uh, that's something that we'd have to do. That's, that's something that's a bit more complicated. But for now, I can go to my grid. And right now, my width is 4 and my height is 4. I can make these 6 and 6, which are different from what my original grid size was when we were doing all that testing. And if I hit play, uh, it should resize, or it should go to where it should be, so that everything's in the middle. It's nicely centered. So you can now have, when you're making your template levels, you can now have levels with different sizes of boards, so that they don't always have to be just the 8x10 board. Uh, otherwise, they'll be offset. Now our camera will dynamically replace itself where it should go. So yeah, there we go. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the description down below. Otherwise, you can follow me on Twitter to find out when I post new videos. Uh, you can join my Discord. There's tons of really cool people there who are extending this project in cool ways. Uh, I'm streaming on Twitch now, so you can join me on Twitch. That's weird. I thought I had fixed that error. Uh, you can join me on Twitch. Um, I'm answering questions and doing game dev stuff. So, yeah. Uh, I hope everybody out there has themselves a wonderful day. All right, welcome back. So today we're going to be uh, moving our camera around so that our camera is going to be dynamic now. Now previously, when I hit play on this scene with the 4x4, the board would show up down in the middle. But now I'll be able to 
resize the board. So like let's say I want an 8x8 eight eight board. And the camera will place itself uh, dynamically in the center. So an 8x8 eight eight board would look like this. But I can change it and make maybe a 5x5 five five board. And instead of having that 5x5 five five appear in the lower corner, it's going to appear in the center of our screen. Oh, ah, good lord. What did I do wrong? 